Good morning, everybody. What a beautiful day it is in March. And we are almost at the end. Spring is in the air. I can't believe finally I'm ready for the snow to stop. And so many exciting things have been happening over the winter. And a very good guy friend named David Wright, who I've known for many years, he's been connected with many restaurants, but now has a very new, exciting adventure that he's going to tell you about. And I got to sample some up. Good morning, David. Good morning, Gabby. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Excellent. Excellent. Beautiful day. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and it says it's supposed to snow tonight. Absolutely. Take your dog for a walk, everybody. But Absolutely. Before you do, let's hear about the Right Way Sausage Company. So I'm uh, David Wright, and my business partner and I, my business partner is Jake Grant, and he and I started a sausage company last April, and uh, it's called the Right Way Sausage Company. Wait, the moment, spell it. The it's Right Way, W-R-I-G-H-T. Yeah, way. okay. Yes. Um, my last name's, I'm David Wright, so my, that's my last name. Um, we started a sausage company in April, and we, uh, out in Englewood, we started producing, and we are now serving a few restaurants around town and growing our clientele and doing some different things. So, yeah. Um, well, I do have to say they are wonderful. I just would like hurry up and just get them every place all the time. First right. one I tasted was at Bistro Vendome. You are attached to it some way or other, I believe. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. His fiance is the beautiful, gorgeous Beth Ruich. And then I had them at working class with Loca, Dana Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. And then I have had the andouille sausage, which we're so addicted to, had the best risotto we have ever had. And I'm not being funny, ever. And, you know, everybody was a bit nervous. How's it going to be? Yep. Oh, my God. Okay. Tell us about all the different sausages and what you're doing. So, so a bit back around on me, I was the butcher at Euclid Hall on and off for about nine years. So I made most of the sausage in house for that restaurant, which if any of you know, that was a lot of sausage making. Um, throughout the years working there, I got the opportunity to try and do some different things and kind of hone my craft, if you will. So now we have started this company and we, we really want to focus on things you cannot get everywhere. Uh, we have different flavors. So this week we did an Al Pastor. We've done a chicken tinga this week. We have a jalapeno and cheese that's at all the Tappenberger locations. Um, we do andouille, as you spoke of, for a lot of restaurants. Uh, we do a Nashville hot chicken. We have a bunch of different flavors, uh, some spicy, some not. Uh, our focus is to put as many flavors in and have our sausages really stand out. A lot of sausages are kind of streamlined and basic. We just want to pack a lot of flavors in and do, we can do about anything. We're chefs first and uh, okay. we feel like if we can put anything in a sausage, we will. Okay. I want some sausage. Tell me about you. Name names means nothing to most people. You know, what now? Chicken tinga. What does yeah. that mean? Or yeah. a sweet about them how you make them because i think you make them in a beautiful much more refined and caring so tell us what you're doing with mint so people will know about the flavors and all that. yes we still are we're hand cranking uh still grinding slow hand grinding and the hand cranking so i know that doesn't mean a lot to people but you can get this the, the homemade texture that's not machine made we still are small enough and we continue will continue to be small enough um I mean, we'll grow, but we want to continue the art of using the hand crank and getting the texture we have that we, we produce and uh, we focus on. So, yeah. All right. Well, now tell me what's in the andouille? What's in the one that is uh, described different sausages? All right. So our andouille is pork, uh, all pork. Um, we use smoked paprika, cayenne. We saute onions and garlic for good sugary caramelization. A little depth. We usually use beer, um, unless we also do gluten free for like canteen uh, from working class. They do a lot of gluten free, so we leave the beer out for those guys. Uh, but 
it's spicy, oniony. It's uh, we thick, thick grind it so it has a really, really big dye uh, for texture wise. And uh, yeah, it's more of a spicy, smoky, classic andouille. Most of the andouille you get around are basically hot dogs with a little bit of spice. Right. We, we feel like uh, let's, if we're going to do it, let's do it right and put a bunch of spices and flavors and make it pack a punch. Okay. At working class, I believe I had one with cheese and something. Yes. Uh, I think you had the green chili and cheese one. So we do one of the uh, roasted hatch green chilies and Monterey Jack cheese. It's a, been a big hit. Last year, we were at the farmer's market in Stapleton and uh it was one of our biggest sellers. That and the Nashville hot chicken were their biggest sellers. But yeah, so we... How do you do Nashville hot chicken? So I we do smoked paprika, cayenne. It's, a lot of these sausages are a heavy base in like cayenne and paprika. But we do chili powder, things of sorts. But it's a chicken sausage. We still use pork fat to get the, the fattiness in there since chicken's lean. So it's But it's about 90% chicken and 10% pork. So... It's a little and, healthier for you. Okay. And so there is no vegetarian, and I'm not a vegetarian. No, we we have not. The, the idea is there. I mean, maybe down the road, but uh, right now everything's put in hog cases, hog casings. So it's pig based anyway. So okay. we use natural. Well, I think people, you know, should know all that too. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. And I noticed a difference even in the texture of the casing. Is that yep. possible? Uh, we poach all our sausage. So every sausage comes to you already cooked. So you don't have to worry about whether, whether you're cooking it up temp or whatever. You could eat it cold. I mean, obviously we prefer it hot, um, but they can all be pan fried or grilled or any of the sorts to make the, uh, since we poached the sausage already, it's already set. And the casings are already slightly, they're cooked. So when you grill them up, they get a good crunch and good, good texture. So. Okay. And so each we are, I want to buy your sausage yes. and I am a customer. They're going to be either in my freezer or in my stomach or whatever. <laughs> and you're going to sell them in packs of four. Yes. Okay. How do I, I mean, what different sausages are available? So at the moment we are doing, we, we have, so we basically want to thank all our customers. We have Highland Tap and Burger, all the Tap and Burgers. Well, tell um, us where I can get them, Highland Tap and Burger. Yeah, so if you want to go to Highland Tap and Burger, they serve our sausage. Bistro and Dome serves our sausage. Altrea and Union Station serve our sausage. Um, Mr. Osito out in Arvada, uh, Terra downtown. Uh, Denver Country Club, which you obviously have to be a member to be a part of. <laughs> so I don't know about getting in there. Uh, Steuben's uses our breakfast sausage and our andouille as well. So yeah, yeah. So we have a, we have some few clientele out there, and we are also at Inglewood Broken Tea Golf Course, and that's where you can find our sausages. We'll be setting up grills on Friday out at Broken Tea in Inglewood. We'll be grilling dogs for all the golfers and things, and also selling four packs to go as well. Okay, if I came out, I'm not a golfer. You're not a golfer. <laughs> could, I, could, I, could I get a sandwich while picking up others? Absolutely. So we'll be grilling out, selling sausages, and doing a wholesale little farmer's market, per se, out of here. So, yeah, the, we'll, be, we'll have our four packs available. You can have a beer, a glass of wine, and have a dog, and then take sausages to go. Okay. Each week, I can get what sausages? So we do a rotating so we're each week we're going to have a different specialty dog or whatever we're going to do three or four dogs per week and we're going to do either variety packs you can buy or you can buy four of and the reason we do four is because all each sausage is a quarter of a pound and you you know you get a pound of sausage per package uh but yeah you will have four different available and you can come and pick and choose different four four different sausages or you can have a dog which will We'll be presenting in our own form. We'll be making a specialty dog with those sausages as well. Okay. So. How do I know what sausages will be available? So we're going to, each week we'll put it on our Instagram page. So the right way sausage is our Instagram. You can follow us on there. W-R-I-G-H-T. W-R-I-G-H-T. Yep. The Only right way. on Instagram or can I do it through email? 
Uh, you can do it email. So we're our email is butchers at the right sausage.com. A little long and complicated, but <laughs> So you can email us as well. So if you want to send us an email at any point, we can make we can tell you the sausages we have available that week, and you're more than welcome to order through us, and we'll take your uh, we'll do put your credit card through uh, Square or take cash either one, and we can also deliver uh, within a certain area, and you know it's got to be makes sense for us to deliver, but uh, we can also do pickups here at the golf course as well. Okay, and the golf course is. The Broken Tea, T-E-E. -E. Yep, Broken Tea. And yes. it's out on Oxford? Oxford Avenue, yes. Uh, I don't remember the exact address. What a 2101, I believe, West Oxford. I'm pretty sure it's what we, I don't have it in front of me. Yep. yep. West Oxford Avenue. Yes, Inglewood. Yes, and so we've paired up with these guys out here, and uh, they're allowing us to set up, and they I think they hit 77,000 people a year that come through here, so we have a really good clientele here. Uh, so yeah, we're going to set up and get as many people exposed to some good sausage here in Denver as we can. So. Okay. Uh, I assume to anybody who is watching this, don't drop in. Order first. Yes, absolutely. Order first. They will, if you're at the Broken Tea, they will always have our sausage on their menu at all times, but it's okay. just going to be, but they'll just have it in a bun with sauerkraut and mustard. It won't be anything special. Fridays when we'll do our chef driven special sausages uh, with different different toppings and things of sorts. But uh, no, don't just pop in for wholesale. Send us an email or reach out to us um, through Instagram, either one. And uh, we'll get you on the books and we can tell you when you can come pick up and when everything's available. Okay. And this is starting April 7th? Yeah. So we'll start April 7th out here at the Broken Tea cooking outside. Yes. Okay. Are you going to be uh, in any other farmer's markets? Not this year. So I've, sausage is apparently a uh, pretty high demand thing. And uh, they have not, the people that make sausage here in town have not given up their spots in the farmer's markets and allowed us to get in. They have, uh, they are only allowing X amount of sausage, which makes sense in the farmer's markets. And uh, they are not giving up their spots. So and we have our name in the hats and we'll wait and see if any of those guys drop out and if that's the case then we will take advantage of that and jump into one of the farmers markets in town. well i do have to say the flavors of the ones i have had in your restaurants plus the one i have with risotto were fabulous Thanks. otherwise i wouldn't have said tell us all about it <laughs> absolutely so, i have to say I, I feel like we do a pretty good job <laughs> you are doing a great job and you're making me very hungry. <laughs> and I don't happen to have one to pop out. And yet it's Friday, but the wrong Friday. <laughs> I guess I have to wait. Uh, give us all the details again, though. How they get in touch with you and what they we do. So you can email us at butchers at the right way sausage.com. That's W-R-I-G-H-T. Or you can get on our Instagram page, uh, the right way sausage. And you can contact us through either of those forms. Or, or if you just happen to be in Inglewood and you want to pop by the golf course, we're generally here Monday through Friday. So it sounds easy to me. No yeah. phone numbers, no nothing. Uh, and, if you want to, yeah, yeah, exactly. Neither of us really like our phones that much. <laughs> we'll have to get used to that, I'm assuming. <laughs> I hope you're doing so well, you'll have to put in a special number. Absolutely. Yeah. We're going to uh, here this summer. We, we, like I said, we're fairly new. So we're, uh, we went through our first winter. We survived, uh, didn't have to borrow any money. We're still doing good. We're going in the summer and we'll get some money in the bank account. We're going to get a web page set up where you can actually start ordering through that and all that. So well, we're, that we're getting, much, we're getting real close would, to this. That would be much more adult yes. and easy. I, yeah. <laughs> we got to have money from somewhere. <laughs> But I've never heard of David Wright being the biggest adult I ever met. And no, no, not always. <laughs> Known him to many lives and many chefings. Every, every, anybody, time I, every now and then I have to get dressed up and act appropriate when I'm with my fiance. But <laughs> You have the most gorgeous fiance in the world. Yes, I, I oh, agree. I that's a good idea. <laughs> However, she's not letting go of you and you're not giving her <laughs> Nope. But to anybody who is watching this, please like and subscribe to the Gab G A B B on YouTube. There will be a new 
video every Friday. You'll see this on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram in a few minutes. Uh, David is always a kick and a delight. You will adore the sausages, but you do have to call and, yep. or make arrangements. Yep. So just, hopefully not for long. Hopefully not long. We're working on getting out to stores and things. So hopefully not long. Oh, good. Have a great Friday. Everybody. Thank you so much, Debbie. Thank you for having me on. I love it. Love to Beth too. Have a great day. And please save sausages. See you <laughs> all. You. Have a great weekend, one and all. Thank you. This is Gabby.